up, AJ fam? It's your boy Animus J here, and I finally got her. Savanus, I've been working my butt off all week to get 10,000 coins to get her. I have played with her a few games, so I can give you this awesome build today. I'm super excited. We're going to call her the Jack of All Trades, man, because she is awesome. And that's what we're going to call this build. This build is going to focus not only on doing siege damage, which since she's a range specialist, that's what she does, but also making it where you can punish heroes. Most of the games I play, my... Um, my stats at the end is very consistent. I've done very well in both areas, which um, allows you to be a great asset to the team and be able to hold your own when taking over uh, towers and stuff. So we're going to hop into this match and we're going to get into it because I'm super excited to show this build. And I hope when you try this build out that you will like it. Let's do this thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are definitely getting into this. Super excited. I'm excited about her build. Like I said, this build is an uh, awesome all-around build that I think is going to be super useful for anybody who wants to play with her. Um, the first one we are going to pick is Whip the Wind. It increases your um, Withering Fire up 25%, which helps you keep a safe distance from everybody. So we want to make sure we definitely use that. And definitely hold on to that because it's going to be very powerful and very useful um, in the time being. You can't be afraid to go with her. Uh, we do have a Nova. I always recommend on the other team, if there's a Nova on the other team, you want to put a little more conservative than you usually would. Um, because just having a Nova in general is never a good thing. Um, because she will cause plenty of issues. So we're going to sit here and start sucking up XP, start doing our damage. And doing what we need to do to suck up the XP. And keep pressure, make sure that Lee Lee is safe. I also want to keep my eye to make sure that there is no there is no secret Nova that's gonna appear out of nowhere and cause harm to me or Lee Lee. I'm not too worried about I'm not too worried about her. Um she may try to push us, but with Lee Lee here, it's not much that can happen right now. Lily should be keeping us alive. Lily is not healing me. Lily is not healing me. <laughs> Which is never a good thing. <laughs> I was a little surprised and a little concerned. <laughs> but maybe it's because her health was lower than she wanted it to be. She wanted to focus on that. We're actually going to head to the top and go push the camp as soon as we can get a kill out of uh, out of Zyra here. All right, so our Nova is the first one dead. We're going to head up here and go ahead and start trying to grab this cap. I'm sure she will come up here and start trying to cause some issues. But I will flee if needed. But until the end, we should be okay. Yeah, I was kind of waiting on her to come up here. So we're going to play it safe, play it back. She's trying to prevent us from getting there. Um... But we just want to make sure we don't get, get caught up in her in her raft. Looks like the rest of my team has pushed mid. So this camp is kind of just being held off. I want to play it safe due to my injuries. I still have 30 seconds left on the countdown. So we don't I don't want to push that too hard. She is starting to gain some uh gain some wind on her move. Make sure I stay at a safe distance make sure that we're safe you want to make sure you want to use Q, your Q ability all the time it is a it doesn't cost any mana at all it's a free to use and your W ability attaches to any enemy in that area and does damage over time so those are the two things we want to make sure we definitely hang on to at level four we're going to get venom venom is something that we must have um, because we want to definitely do a lot of damage over time just kind of keeping an eye on this area she making sure she doesn't push it um, making sure she's making sure I don't I, I don't push it so we're just gonna hold out for the teammate look like we can have some issues so we're gonna get out of here go grab this water and head back in there um, because we want to help our teammate make sure our teammate is safe and that's like I mean that's pretty much how you play it so far you know I'm very team centric <laughs> I'm not gonna push the base if my teammates aren't here but due to the wait time and just holding it down we was able to pursue this this base very comfortably without any issues at all which is awesome 
Venom is gonna come in and in, 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 in real handy uh, once the enemies try to push on us and we do the damage we need to. Thayas is dead. So I'm gonna try to hang on my teammates a little bit. Looks like they're trying to push up on the left end. We're just gonna play it smart. We're hurt, so we're gonna play it smart. Play in the back. Let our teams do the hard push and just get some area damage from here. As we stand in her pool of purple venom, uh, we can take more excess damage from her over time. And that's all we have to make sure we stand in that. We should better take this kill. We might better steal another one. Ah, oh, but with the push, I don't want to over push it with Thayas here. Thayas does massive damage, so we definitely want to make sure we play that safe. And make sure we do no damage here. We, we do have a Nova here. I'm going to go ahead and pull it back. We're going to pull it back. Get healed. I don't know what kind of healing Lily's doing, so we got to make sure we're safe. Um, at level 7, we are going to grab Unstable Poison. Unstable Poison does explosive damage to minions. And every it does 85 damage per minion explosion. And it also harms anybody who is in that explosion at that time. Which you may see, that's why Theus uh, died. It's because of the minion damage we were able to do. See if we can cause any more damage here. As you see, I mean that 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 W man, that that um shadow that shadow dagger is a strong effective move. That is a must have. See, it's really starting to spread that around. We need to make sure that we can keep her under containment. Top is getting pushed awesomely. Um, our sip of tea has restored, so we're gonna grab some of that just to get a, a boost on MP. Because we are low, we're gonna help out Lili. And while she's running away, she also actually damaged all her minions. So we can get some free XP there. Since we're very team-centric, we're going to focus on capturing the uh, objective and headed down here. And doing what we need to do to help our teammates as much as possible. Afterwards, after this, we are going to focus on getting some of the camps. And putting a lot of strong pressure. If we look at our stats right now, we're doing 23,000 siege damage, 4,000 hero damage, and 2,000 XP so we are doing very well it doesn't look like the enemy team is pushing um, so we should be able to capture this pretty easily until we see a need of change then we shall change that just gonna focus on doing our damage that is needed to be done we do have our Nova here which is always a good thing to know wasn't for sure which Nova that was coming down we're gonna keep doing as much damage as possible keep moving around we are getting hurt more than I like to, so we might have to play this safe. Um, and and take this time to actually go heal due to the fact that we're hurt. There's no need to press that with the enemy team lurking. So we're gonna get some health while our team switches off with us and holds it down. Lily is holding her presence. Oh my gosh, my fingers move so fast. Doesn't look like the enemy team at all is pushing this, which is awesome. We should be full on health, so we're gonna go ahead and head back down. Um, due to that tower already being taken, I'm going to make my move here to this camp and start capturing uh, camps to put even more pressure on the teammates. It looks like this team is really getting worse. <laughs> Which I hate to say that, but, you know, the truth is the truth, you know. So with her, um, with her trait, her trait is pretty much anytime she does a basic attack or any of her ability attacks, which I'll show you here. Um, it pretty much stuns the enemy for one second, so they can do absolutely no damage to you at all. As you can see, I can freely hit this minion, and the minion does not attack back, which is awesome. Uh, which makes her a super strong jungle, juggler and anything else you want her to be. Because she can pretty much press anything by herself except a boss. Looks like we got Zyra up here, and she wants to come up here and try to do her own thing. Um, she should see us coming due to the fact that they have sight. But I don't know if she's actually going to try to press it. Nope. She's going to run back. She may try to press me. Due to us being in her venom, we got to try to play this safe. If not, we will get murdered. So we will have to pull it back. And play this one safe. We may have to ask for some backup um, just up here. Because we won't be able to take her by herself if she's in that venom. I'm gonna go ahead and kill all these and keep her, her on her toes. Um, and she should die. <laughs> That's how we do it. I didn't know she was gonna die at night. I, I really thought she was gonna run away. But since she did it, that made it a very easy kill. We are a little more hurt than I want to try to push this. So we're gonna get some health. 
because the temples will be back up in 10 seconds like I said this build is is, is an awesome build man you can you can uh you can play you can play the lanes you can play the enemies you can pretty much attack bases alone um it's it's a it's a great way you got a strong push presence at level 13 oh my bad I didn't even explain at level 10 we picked up wailing arrow Wailing arrow is a move that you can auto um you can manually explode to cause more damage over time uh, to cause more damage and it silences for two seconds which i mean any kind of silence is going to be a strong uh anything that's going to be a, a game changer she should die. Nova taking care of her. At level 13, we're going to pick up um, Evasive Fire. Evasive Fire boosts your uh, speed 10% each time you use your Q attack. And it can stack up to three times so you can get a 30% uh, speed boost, which is great for getting away from enemies and really just uh, protecting yourself. So we're playing this well. I mean, everything's going good. No pressure at all. She is such a strong character. I am loving it. We're capturing camps. This may last. This may not go as fast as I want, uh, as I, I thought it might go. But hey, who's complaining? You know, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead over here, and I'm gonna try to steal that camp. And that way, they don't have that, and uh, make sure that we that we can continue to put pressure on them. Make sure we're applying as much pressure as possible to do maximum damage. With the fact that they can't really do any attacks to me or Lily, our health should sustain. And stay up, and that's what makes us such uh, a top tier fighter. At this point, um, I'm actually gonna try to push the camp. We might be able to get away with that because we can stun this and take no damage whatsoever and completely destroy that camp. I'm actually gonna head to the right and start working on this side of the camp because our goal is to apply as much pressure as possible and hope to destroy as much as possible and bring down their offense. We are in the back burner, but I want to sit here and really just focus on um, getting this done. As you see, the tower cannot attack us at all, so we should be safe. But just in case the enemy come, let's take this out as fast as possible. Because <laughs> we might need an escape route. The escape route is always going to be important if that was to come up. Like I said, we can press counts really easily. I mean, with the minions not be able to take damage, we can stop guns from shooting at us. She's an all-around nasty, nasty uh, character that I think many people have not been taking care of her. So we are now at level 16. At level 16, um, I'm going to grab uh, Cold Embrace. Cold Embrace allows your W move. Um, when you use it, it not only does area attack damage, but it also weakens the enemy that it hits. As you can see, well, we, all, we can practically almost kill him. I tried to press that. I might have pressed that a little too hard. Me and Lily may be in trouble. We got to get out of here. It's not safe. It's not safe. We're going to use our Q move to get a boost just so we can get out way a little faster and really push this one lane out of here. We're going to get out of here. It's not safe. <laughs> We're going to run away. We lost Lily, but that was nothing that we could do. <laughs> I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad Lee Lee was happy about that because I did feel bad uh, about attempting to leave her. <laughs> I am not a big fan of leaving teammates, but I didn't I didn't I didn't want to leave her. <laughs> I did not want to leave her. I just knew something about just supporting teammates is very big on me. Come on in and get Ad some help. Get Asmodon some help. Make sure that he's safe. Um, we're actually catching all these very well. So we're going to put this damage boost on her. We should better do something. Oh, that Nova. That Nova's pushing. That Nova's pushing. Thank you, Lily. Thank you, Lily. <laughs> Woo. That was a clutch move from Lily herself. Um, very grateful. Very grateful indeed, I have to say. Because I definitely thought that we were going to die. We lost Lily, so we're actually gonna pull back. There's no point in staying here. It's three on two. We got Nova chasing us. I see her. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep pushing back. Try to save Asmodan here. Try to keep him from dying. There we go. We was able to get him away. 
Like, wasn't the worst push. We've had a couple of close calls, but we are okay. The only thing they have left is actually the core, which is good for us. I'm going to go ahead and grab this base real fast. Um, continue to put the pressure on them. Fine. Looks like we're going to do a group push. I want to make sure I grab this base before we go. Oh, uh, just to add a nice distraction. This match has been exceptionally well. I don't think I'm going to die, so we should be okay. Because I'll be able to stun him as soon as I start attacking. I got it. No, no problems. Looks like we got enemy team above us, so I'm actually run back <laughs> and get some health while I can before we make this final push. Looks like our team down here is doing their own thing. The means are pushing well. I'm here. We're gonna grab our health and we're gonna head back out. Like I said, this build is awesome. We're already at 53,000 siege damage, 11,000 hero damage, 9,000 XP damage. It's a very successful match. Um, a lot of matches, I've a lot of longer matches I've seen where I've reached 160 some thousand siege damage. So I mean, you're looking at something that can overall do something amazing. We should be able to take her. Oh, I like that she did that. She grabbed me out of all people. We do have. I don't like it. I don't like it. We're gonna we're gonna try to play this a little safe. See if we can hit him with this. We were so we were able to silence him and get that kill really fast. Um, due to the silence not allowing him to use any abilities, he wasn't able to get away. So that kill was able to happen. Looks like the whole team is pushing. We might be able to take out all the all the enemies before they go hit him with poison. Just so poison to make sure we kill him. That poison should take him out. Oh, he was able to heal. He was able to get life back. Which changes the spectrum. We're going to try to weaken both of them since they're both together. The touch from that should weaken them both. Almost killing one of them. Nova doesn't look like she's going to make it. Nova is down for the count, so we don't have to worry about the invisibility. That is another teammate down. We got one more coming. I just want to come after him because he's going to get on my nerves. We're going to push him back. We should better take the core. This match should be over, and this match is done. Great game. Good game. Good game, everybody. The team played well. We conquered, we conquered the uh, objectives, which, which really just gave us that win even faster. We did not get to level 20, but I'll be happy to show you how this build can finish out if you do take the level 20. As you can see, man, I've been only playing with her for like two days and I already got her to level 7. That's how, that's how much I like her. And very happy I purchased her. So we look at our stats. We did 65,000 siege damage. Right behind Asmodan, the other specialist who did 84,000. We did 19,000 hero damage, which is right up there with everybody else who did hero damage. So as you can see, this build is a very balanced and well-rounded build that was specialized in, in all the fields that you need for a great team. We even did 11,000 XP. We are right there with the top with the top people. There is nothing that we got left behind in any of our stats. So this is a build that is very, very um, versatile for what you need. If you need to do more siege damage, you got it. If you need to help your teammates out, you got it. If you need to gain XP, easy. Because of her moves, her moves make her so powerful and so demanding. We'll go back over level one with the win. Um, you get the 25% range on your Q move. Level four, you get uh, grab venom that does more damage over time. Level seven, unstable poison. Each time a minion is uh, killed by this damage over time, it explodes and does 75 uh, points of damage per enemy if a if a if a, a hero is caught in that group and each time a man explodes they usually explode right behind each other you can practically kill a hero and change the outcome of the whole game level 10 wailing arrow it's the arrow that is shot and you active you can activate it manually to explode if it hit all the people it hit it silenced them for uh, 2.5 seconds they can't use any of their abilities such a game changer is awesome it's also a good way of killing somebody who's trying to flee so I recommend it even if you don't manually explode it when it reaches uh, which it, when it reaches its max range it's gonna do that explosion anyway and cause whatever happens happens level 13 invasive fire each time you hit somebody with your Q arrow it stacks up to three giving you a 30 30% 30 um, 
movement speed to allow you to get away which you can use her Q and continue to move that's what makes her so great she doesn't have to stand still to do an ability she can keep moving level 16 we did cold embrace if you shoot a target with your w move it, um, it allows them to take 25 percent more damage that's something that you have to have it is such a help such a great game changer level 20 we didn't make it there but level 20 i must uh the, the way to finish this build off is to pick her teleport it is the fourth um, if I'm not mistaken, we can go back and look real quick. It is her, yeah, it is her fourth move, the built, uh, the Bolt of Storm. It's an active teleport. It'll get you where you need to go. That way you can you can use your teleport and then teleport again to get even farther. This build is awesome. I recommend it, highly recommend it. If you're becoming a, a Venus uh, fan, grab it, use it. It's, it worked for me. I've, I'm only 9, 10 game win streak because, I mean, it's, she's just so dominating. Um, and I recommend her for anybody and this build is awesome. You know, as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. I hope this video helped you. Hope it gave you some new tips on how to use her, how to make uh, which, which ones, which talents to grab and help build that. And if you did, subscribe, man. Join this family, man. We focus on three things. Good, clean, fun. That's what we do. We have fun. We play games that we love to do and we play them well. Not all the time, but we play them well for the enjoyment and the entertainment part. And if you really like to hit the like button, that way more people can see this guide and this guide can get to other people and help them um, figure out ways to build their character. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine because any feedback will help me grow and make this channel better as we go. So I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, thanks so much for coming. And I can't wait to make another guide for y'all. So I'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a blessed day. Take care, everybody.